so monumentous and life-changing music mm -hmm. that I suppose like maybe this is how people let go the like, iconic nature of it is cool yeah like the first day back to school after he died I like bleached out my hair and was like super sad and pathetic it's so, like the John Lennon yeah yeah, yeah totally exactly. like yeah <laughs> no seriously though. it totally is me and Kyle the boy when we were in the whole cover band totally had this conversation where like talking about how like Nirvana was totally just like dude, dude angst. angst like and like getting like weird enough so like it was cool to like them because they were like weird because they made some shit that was bad oh yeah that's pretty good I don't know why people still come here I think I, I just yeah it was gonna be funny to do this thing yeah and we're doing it and it's funny yeah hey Tom how long it I wrote R.I.P. Neil Young. It's a joke. Kirk Cobain is obsessed with Neil Young. Neil Young was a very important forefather of the grunge movement. Yeah. And it's funny because Neil Young's still alive, but people say that Neil Young makes really bad music now. So it's funny. Did you write anything? I wrote this slogan of Anthony. Same as you are. I think the people that come here are like, like it means something to them, and it's so much like more personal than like a gravestone or something. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You can't fucking ride on that shit. That's not good. Well, some of them do. So was it worth it coming here? Yeah, it's yeah, big time. <laughs> 